Alrighty, folks, it's Farrell. And Amy. And we are a Gibson's Green Acre Dairy Farm. And we're finally here for the... The haunted, haunted maze. maze. Yeah, the weather's been kind of incumbent. Is that a correct term? It's sure. It's raining, then it's not, then it's raining. But finally, we got a good night. We could come out and check out the haunted maze. It's the perfect autumn evening. Anyway, let's go to the maze. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> you probably should be. So you usually are. We're gonna. We're gonna go. I'm never scared. We're gonna go in the maze and see if Amy makes that alive. We're gonna rock this. <laughs> I'm really just not. I think it's gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun, but it's gonna be scary. Just like a little, like nice stroll. Maybe we can hold hands. I'm. Not, I'm not gonna skip. You skip. No. <laughs> Come on. Yay! <laughs> oh, catch enough I of that. I knew we were soul sisters. <laughs> I'm not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> rub my head I, for good luck. Rub your. <laughs> it's well. I was gonna say your belly, but you're it's not. So you don't soft, have a big belly, right? so. It's a chainsaw. <laughs> Just that sound alone. Just the sound alone scares you. Well, because I don't know who's holding the chainsaw. You know what? This <laughs> what? is like scarier than most because. It's this, quiet. This so. corn is tall, too. Remember the other ones we were in? It was so loud. Oh, yeah. Well, other than the chainsaw, it's pretty quiet. There's a light up here. So we are here at the haunted section of Green Acres. Yes. The, the haunted corn maze. Yes. With? Diana. With Diana. And apparently, Diana, you have done a lot of work in this corn maze. I, I have. I started in probably first part of September going through different ideas. Oh, there's somebody there. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, I know what this is all about. This is like um, oh, my diner. Jim, Jimmy oh, Buffett. It's, it's a diner. We thought it was like a bar. <laughs> when I joined my diner, come on. It's what the Roadkill Tavern. What's in there? Oh. We'll eat you. I mean, we, all right. We have intestines. What? We have intestines on special. Oh, she's eating it. That's disgusting. She's going to give herself hyperventilating. Wait, what, what are you eating? I can barely see you. She's eating intestines. <laughs> I'm eating you. That's what I'm eating. What is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I keep following you, Amy. She's right behind you. Is this the right way? I don't know, but she's behind you. Don't I stop. Don't care. Oh, okay. This is oh the gosh. end. This, you know what? This is a dead end. We can't go anywhere. She has us now. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to bore you. That was a She lured us into she, a dead end. She's yeah. in my kitchen. Come on. Oh, okay. I make no, a really mean mac and cheese. No, because you're eating disgusting things like intestines and homemade fingernails or something. I love it. Okay. Oh, this is where oh, we're too. supposed to go. Oh, this way. Hey, thanks for the. She was thanks a diversion. For not, thanks for not eating us. Diversion. <laughs> she was into it too. This. She was. I thought she was gonna actually hyperventilate. Because <laughs> if you, even when you're acting, you know, you're breathing. Cheryl, isn't this scarier? I don't. Yeah. Cause isn't this scarier than when there's techno music blaring and people screaming? Because it's quiet. We have to go this way because that's a dead end. Yes, of course. So, what exactly are you, are you doing here, Cece? You're standing here and you have wristbands taped to the the table, I guess is what this is. Yeah, that's our brain. Is that your brain? Uh, yeah, that's what we... People, we, yeah, we have to look at this so we can tell people what we have to charge them. Because we are confused. As you can see, this is confusing. So Yeah, you know, you know what I would do? I would, like, hang it up here. Yeah. So you can look at the people and talk to them, but you're looking past them, but they don't know it. And then they think uh, you're super smart. That is really a good idea. Because the people come and look over here, see, yeah. they look at this, and then they want something totally different. So we brain power here. Yeah, yeah. We're really smart. That's why we're both here. Team yeah. power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's stuff right there. <laughs> oh, Jenny is scared. I still can't see what it is, though. Why are you? Why are you scared and you can't even see? See it right there. All right, I'm just going to walk right up. Hello, can I interview you for a segment? <laughs> There's another one. There's wow. two of them. Oh, gosh, that face. See? Right there. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I already know what you look like, and for some reason, your face is freaking me out. I'm going to go. This is a 
wrong way. I'm gonna go towards the light. I bet you a hundred. Don't go towards the light, Amy. I bet you a hundred bucks this is the wrong way. No. Oh, you oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, please, if you put please. the, if you Why put. Why are you yelling? <laughs> please, please, if, please, please. I think God. he just burped. God. Oh. Okay, where are She's we going? Down there. Why would you going that way? way? She's telling us not. Who's in charge? You or her? See, all right. Still all right. All right. <laughs> the dead are trying to sleep! What? Who's trying to sleep? How can you sleep with all that no. racket? What? I don't like it when it's so quiet and then they jump out. Hey, it's I have a so question! Scarier. How does anybody sleep with all that yelling going on? Is it late over there? Farrell, yeah. don't leave me. So what have your ideas evolved into? Well, one weekend we rotate. It goes from a lemonade, a bloody lemonade stand, to a haunted diner. There's cemetery scenes. There's a butcher shop. In the in the maze. Yeah. I like how a lot of these themes revolve around like edibles. We have an insane asylum. Oh. Uh, Sarah knows all dinner. about yeah. that. <laughs> yes, they've been given permission to keep you if they need you. They don't call them asylums anymore, Amy. Where now they? they're behavioral health facilities. Oh yes, politically correct. <laughs> America. America. <laughs> is this really a dead end? No, it's keep going. The scariest part is this is actually Because it's so quiet? No, it's real. Yeah. It's like a And it's tall. Corn. So what if some of these people are like just like they just hide out here all year round <laughs> and wait for their chance? Maybe maybe they do. Maybe they do. <laughs> We're behind us, Amy. I know. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't know why this place freaks. It's because I feel real entities here. <sighs> and that's in the way. The corn fell over or something. I don't know. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Oh, almost fell down. Farrell, this yes. doesn't make sense. What? Well, the fact that this is people come through here, but it seems very uncharted. Like, very. Hello? There's nobody here. They come up behind I can't see anything. I'm I know. so terrified. It is dark. You can't. It is outside and it's real. There's nobody here, Amy, I promise. <gasps> what? I hear you. You don't hear anything. Did you hear that? It sounded like... <laughs> I really I, can't see much. I'm putting the microphone into the corner. I got you. I see you following me. I see you following me. You're not going to scare me. Notice how I'm not here because they wouldn't trust me with the money. That you might know, be an issue. That's what Andrea said. She Is said, that... yeah. She said, um, keep an eye on the box, the cash said, box. Keep Feral out of the here. The guy with the microphone. Yeah, yeah. keep him away. She did look uneasy when I first walked up here. I seen her. She grabbed it and kind of put it under her yeah, arm. She, and... Yeah, she's, she's a smart one. Yeah. She's the business mind. Who wants to be on TV? Me. Okay, Perfect. then come up. Perfect. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, is this on YouTube? Can it, yes. Yeah, it'll be on the YouTubes. What isn't on YouTube anymore? It's not. It's not I think that, no, you know what, what isn't, he said. His oh. mouth. Oh. I, oh. <laughs> I actually What's your think? name? You're, gonna, you're about to get killed. What's your name? It's Riley, bro. What's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> your crib's a cornfield? Cool. Uh, yeah, I guess. Are you having fun? Yeah, I am. Are you super scared yet? Wait, are you, good, are you the guy that went to Frightmares? Like, I am, like a long time ago, yeah. Oh, snap. I'm on your so Oh, what? word? Yeah. Word. Cool. Now you're on it twice. <laughs> no, you was on it for Frightmares. Uh, yeah. Uh, what people is are coming through. Is this crazy? All right, well, guys. Just, just keep going. And, and hey, thanks good for luck. watching. I hope we love we it. see you on the other side. Thanks, bro. Oh, I got this guy. Who? You like you. Who's Who's me? You're famous. I don't know, you like what, <laughs> what did I do? Did you do like that? Crowd surfing. Yeah. The, the one by over like on 12th Street. Oh yeah, we did those a while back. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, you I cool. know you. Yes. Yeah. I'm High five. TV. Yes, you're on TV now. Yes. Throw your do you guys know me by chance? No, I don't. Uh, I don't know who you're talking You're probably about. better off that way, honestly, to not know who I am. Hello, chainsaw guy. I'm so glad. Dude, got a chainsaw. I'm, I'm so glad we got past the chainsaw what's, guy. What's happening right here? I know. Just walk past it. It's gonna grab you. Just walk past it. I don't it. know what that is. It, well, it's not allowed to grab. Yeah, you can't touch. Oh. It's really upsetting. I think though. we went the wrong way, Amy. No, I think something happened here where. I think we're at a dead end. No, we're not. We sure? No, there was. 
I feel like I feel like there were people, like they were working, they're construction workers, right? right? If you say so. And one of them fell in a hole, and like another one got chained up by a chainsaw. There was a psycho massive. I think there's some. Oh, oh, what's the matter? I don't know. It's just. <laughs> one. No. That's me. Farrell. Sorry. Do not touch the corn. They said I can. They didn't. Rule number one. No, rule number one is don't touch anybody. So how, how long have you been working to get this maze set up? I mean, I know the corn's been growing all summer, but how long have you I been down here working? I came in the first part of September and started setting things up probably the middle of September to get it good to go. Cool. And so when people come to the maze, they're going to come up to this awesome creature that uh, apparently you made. I did. This I reminds made him. me of the toxic avenger kind of thing, like right here. Yes. And so what happens? You said... When they, when they come through the exit point, we ask them to vote for their favorite haunter. And then they get a prize at the end of the night. The haunter gets it? The haunter gets a prize. Oh. That'd be cool, right? So that like so gives hard. incentive like to work here. Exactly. And to be I more scary. I love that story. Yes. I love that story. And they're not allowed to touch you, though. No, they cannot touch you. They well, touch you... Good. We we gave permission for you. No no no. We said, I know they'll want to because my fo- my my I was like my foot is so curry. My your foot is so curry. I meant my coat is so furry. Yeah, I got that. They might want to keep you. I won't let them. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> no. They said turn what? around. Now Feral. there's three of you. Is this the right way? His name. Feral. What? Okay. They said turn around. Whose name? You want to know his name? What's his name? <laughs> you really want to know? <laughs> well, I wouldn't ask you. I didn't know. Como se llama? My mama. My mama. My mama Susie. Now they're surrounding. Oh, that's Amy. I thought it was somebody else. But now they're surrounding me. Guys. Amy, this person is is like really like stressed out. I think this. No, this is the way. Is this the way? It's lit up. Let's go. Is ah! this? Is this the way? Maybe you should Sorry. go and see. Oh, I love the maybe you should go and see. So how did you get lucky enough to, to work here? I mean, I, I don't know if you're lucky, but how did you get lucky enough to work here? Well, I'm Andrea's mom. Oh, really? Yeah. So oh, I've never thunk it. I thought maybe you was her younger sister oh, or something. So sweet. She's going to kill you for that, con- <laughs> that, <or> that compliment. <laughs> for that conduct? I've been killed for conduct, conduct too. Yeah, or compliment. No, I'm, yeah, I'm her mom. So oh, by default, you had to come do this. By default, I have nothing else to do, so I just come and sit. And you had a, yeah, if I, neighbor, so if I mess up, I don't have to. I was just gonna say free. You should charge like thirty six dollars an hour or something. Well, I got the cash box, so you know. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You and CC can split it. Yeah. We, 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 yeah. You All gave right. away our plan. Sixty forty. Yeah, sixty forty. <laughs> By the time it is sixty, she's fourteen, so we can split it. <laughs> sixty fourteen. Isn't that what you said? Hey, no, oh, sixty Lord. sixty forty. Oh, I was like, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> This woman's going to hate me. It's okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, it's fun. We're having a good time. <laughs> it's the what? It's the butcher. Oh, the butcher. The butcher. Go! This is she's why I'm here. So, I'm so confused right now. Well, what, we're at what? the butcher. Yeah, we're at the butcher. But you had an accident. You look like you got an injury. I think it's just. I'm not allowed to talk about it. I think it's just splattered on her from other people, right, well. perhaps. Do well, we go that way? Has happened. Yeah, that person's crying. Vase. Hi, Vase. You know what? That's exactly how I am with my kids. They'll be crying and I'm like, shut up! I'm tired of hearing it. Is that what you do to these people? <laughs> that, that it's effective nonetheless. And if that don't work, then you grab a stalk of corn and beat them. <laughs> What's your guys' names? Oh, um, I'm Amy, and I'm Hi. Farrell. Yeah. Hi, Farrell. And that's Face, and that's, he's my friend. And that's we ha- digits. No, that's Face, and, oh. and we high fived, and he showed me the way to go. Well, how do we get out of here then? That way, he All said. Right. Keep on but going. he's Thanks nice. For that's where my feet and hands went. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't trust him, but oh, right I kind of do. I kind of trust him. <laughs> I should have learned by the last one not to be nice to the monsters yeah, yeah, because then they, they, they mess me up in the end. However, however, I think this is a dead end. Do I dare get the light out and see? Do you think I'm a target because I look like a teddy bear, a cuddly teddy bear? Is this bear? a dead end? No, it's this way. This is a dead. This is a dead end. No. Amy. Did we go the wrong way? 
Face told me to go this way. Go that way. Face is a liar. You can't. Yes, look, that's. Look, watch. Oh, you can't. Face, See, you you're can't. really mean. I trusted you. All right, well, let's go back the other way. I There's even something gave him a to the nickname. Corn. We were here earlier and was lucky enough to catch a wagon ride. So uh, check it out. I am known as the milkman because I have a lot of cows. And this year, my wife talked us into planting some pumpkins. So now we have a whole bunch of pumpkins and I hope they don't start calling me the pumpkin man because that is kind of scary. Hey, what are you guys doing? Look at all those spooky people. Wow, they're all dressed up. Don't be scaring my cows. Our farm has been in our family's name since 1869. So in two years, it will be 150 years old. I'm fifth generation. My son Bennett driving the tractor is sixth generation on our farm. And hopefully we can keep it for a lot of more generations. The history of our farm is we have always over the years been a vegetable farm. And in the early 70s, they closed all the processing plants for the vegetables in Ogden. My dad and grandpa at that time decided that since they couldn't sell their vegetables anymore, that they were gonna grow the herd of cows that they had and be a dairy farm. We have about 150 baby calves born every month. Half of them are boys and half of them are girls. The boys, we sell to Idaho to a calf ranch and they raise them up so that we can eat steak. And the girls stay right here on our farm and they become our future milking cows. So we love our baby calves. They're the future of our farm. Our cows give an average of 10 gallons of milk a day. Okay, after they've had their baby, they give 15 to 20 gallons of milk a day. I have 2,833 animals on this farm that I have to feed. <laughs> Not including the children. Huh? That's right. That's just cows. I was gonna say, I thought feeding my kids was expensive. Teenagers. You can see that their beds are very nice, comfortable, sandy stalls. And we feed our cows three times a day fresh feed, so they always have yummy food to eat. Can you see what the cows have on their necks? And that necklace is just like a Fitbit for cows. Okay, and what that does is it tells us exactly what every cow's doing at all times. Every cow on our farm has an algorithm for everything, for eating, sleeping, laying, milk production, and as soon as one of those algorithms are off, we get a report on the computer in the morning to go check that cow. Cows love to be bored. They like to do the exact same thing every day. So they want to go to sleep at the same time, they want to be milked at the same time, they want to eat at the same time, they want to burp at the same time. Everything they do, they want to do the same every single day. They love it in here. You see the fans and the misters that are going on in there. In the summer, encouragement for them to go in the summer, they almost run in there. They love to get out of the heat. We milk our cows. Every cow on our farm is milked three times a day. Half of our cows are milked four times a day. What else was I going to say? I don't know. I can't remember. If you're asking me for advice, you're in a world of hurt, my friend. I'm mad I missed the dairy cows, but yeah. And so you got to do that. That's amazing. Was it really fun? No, it was cool. It was it was really interesting. It was like, I don't want to say educational because that makes me a nerd. No. But it was really interesting because he talks about how the cows... Mr. Rogers was educational and that stuff sticks with me. <laughs> I miss it. So I don't watch Sesame Street. I know most of that stuff. Mr. Rogers isn't Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, it was the same channel. So what are, you, what are you guys making? You have like the bags are sideways and cut open. Are those, are those custom made bags or are the bags you can get anywhere? You can get them anywhere. Just, okay. It's more room. And so they're walking tacos. So how do, how do you make them? You just crush up the chips and then you put your meat and all of your ingredients and your lettuce and your cheese in it and then you can just eat it on the go. With the, with, with a fork, I'm assuming? Yeah, with a fork. Um, it's just a fork. I would get mad if somebody crushed my chips. 
Well, you know, people, they think they're funny, like you're, you're at break and you put your chips down and your buddy smacks them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're all mad. That's that's what I'm thinking of right there. <laughs> it's easier to eat when they're crushed. You can get more out of it. Yeah, with the fork, huh? True, true. Wait. What's your name? I... Aubrey Darrington. Hi, Aubrey. You're going to go in a maze? I don't want to. Why not? Because it's scary. They can't touch you. Okay. Yeah. Here's my trick. I block my ears because okay. if no one's screaming in my ears, I can see what's happening, but I'm not getting that other sensation of someone going, ah, like, you know, and so you can just make your way through. But good luck trying to find your way out because it takes a while. It does okay. take a minute. Okay. But don't but you, be scared. Go in. Tell they them. cannot touch you. And okay. if they do, you come find me. Tell okay. them you know Amy. They'll back right off. Amy almost pulled me on the ground. <laughs> How do we get out of here, Hoss? Just stop doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> Where's Amy at? Look. <laughs> okay, I think we have to go the other way. I didn't like it. Who I think we have to go the other way. Okay. I think we're stuck. We're All gonna right. go forward. You're behind me. I got you. Go. Everything that touches me or comes near me, I'm really scared of right now. Because all of my senses are... Okay. Be, don't leave me, Farrell. I'm not going to leave you. I don't Here. know why I'm so freaking scared right now. <laughs> Where is the... I mean, you hey. saw me in the cement, cement factory. The cement factory. Hey. I was fine. Hey. Hey, real quick. What's I the way to you. go? Look over the feet. I know. Hey, Amy, did you die? Oh, there she is. Come on, Amy. Where did Amy go? Did she die? Oh, there you oh, are. Sorry. There's I, Amy. Sorry, Amy. I got slow. He just told me he was going to eat me. Hey, don't let him see that white. They get mad. And that I would taste good in his freezer. Look at <laughs> and I told him, I know. So, walking tacos, and then what else do you guys make? We make um, apple nachos. Oh you put caramel sauce on apples with chocolate chips, and we have nachos, and we have candy, and hot chocolate, and cider. So, you're gonna go, right? Yes. Yeah. You yeah. Can, you can do yeah. it. You're gonna have so much fun. You know fun. what? You're scared okay. now. You go through, and you'll be like, I'm a rock star. I made it all the way through. Okay. All right. Have just, fun. Just right. be careful of the chainsaw. Yeah, look over the guy with the chainsaw and the guy with the axe. What? There's Not no axe. the axe, just the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> the poor girl is scared to death. What are those things that you guys are holding? These are um, anti-monster. They're like really large candy corn. Yeah. yeah. What's candy corn? Um, it's, it's actually kind of gross. I'm not a fan of candy corn. I mean, this corn gets kind of gross after eating it for a while. You don't eat this corn. Well, I mean, I live in here, so. Well, yeah, but I mean, can't you like hunt for something other than corn? No, there's she dirt. lives in a dairy farm. There's dirt. Yeah, it's a dairy farm. You know, there's milk up the way just to touch. I don't know how to ever get out when they need to get out. So why am I following you then if you don't know the way out? Because I only know how to get out. Of See, Amy, this is what happens when you leave me Actually, up to lead. Out. I can't. I follow I can't. people. Oh, that's the way out. I see it. Yeah, right. It is. Look. I don't believe it. Uh, I just love that you're speaking Spanish. ¿Qué hora es? ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Qué pasa? Um, ¿Qué pasa? Noche. Yeah. ¿Qué es eso? Um, so um, tacos. I love it. That's only Spanish, I know. But oh, hey, I thanks know. for talking to me. My pants, my pants fell down. My pants fell down. Oh, that was ridiculous. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan. That was cool though. You know why? Because I actually got scared. Because. Here's I, the thing. I'm never scared, Amy. That chainsaw was really hot. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they get warm. Did he, he didn't get you with it, did he? Well, I don't know. I was too absolutely paralyzed in fear <laughs> and I to know you. if he got me because I can't even breathe. Because I left you. You left me. And look at these girls, so calm. I know. We just came awesome. out too. Yeah, we just come out, out, of, the, out of the maze as well. Yeah. So can we get your name? I'm Hadley. I'm Kinley. 
And what did you think of the uh, the, the maze? It was good. It was scary. Yeah. It was scary, huh? She screamed the whole time. What yeah. part did you hate the most? Um, or get scared about the most? Um, Like when they knew our names because we go to school with a lot of them. So like, oh. This is this is not gonna work. Alrighty, um, <laughs> can I get your name? Doran. Doran. <laughs> and Cece. I know Cece. Okay, this is gonna work. Hold Everybody on. Everybody knows me. Hold on. So, Cece, what are you doing out here? I'm scaring away crows. You're, you're a scarecrow, and you're a bigger scarecrow. You're I guess I just got the bigger stick. <laughs> is, is that what? It, yeah, it is, and it's right in the middle, so it's the biggest of the three. <laughs> and you're probably the best looking of the two of us, I would assume. Of course, I'm gorgeous. Of course. <laughs> but not better looking than Cece. No? no I, I, he thought about it. He's like, well, let me see. Um, <laughs> I do my best, but not that good. <laughs> what about that chainsaw? Oh, yeah, I didn't like that. That was scary. <laughs> That's what scared me. And what scared me the most is, like, how quiet it is. Mm -hmm. In some haunted mazes, you go and it's yeah. so loud. Yeah. And then that's what's scary. And then your imagination goes, and then all of a sudden, something happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is that's the case. So it lulls you into a sense of, oh, we've got to be close to the end now. There's, yeah. no, there's no more. Yeah. Mo and then all of a sudden, that jerk with the it chainsaw. Right <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I, I have a bone to pick with. The face, that face guy, because oh, yeah. he pointed us in the wrong direction, and then I got accosted by the. <laughs> yeah, we walked in circles three times. You were working over in the uh, the, the ticket booth. You're taking tickets. Yeah. How'd you get lucky enough to get a job here? My parents are friends with Andrea, and so they set me up with it. So. You know what that means, right? When you're doing something for your for your parents' friends, it's a favor. You're not getting you're not getting paid. You know that, right? I'm totally getting paid. <laughs> I don't know. It's a favor. Isn't that how it works? I don't know. Like like if you say to me, like you say to me, hey Farrell, uh, do me a favor and come help me paint the house. Okay, I'm gonna come over and help you. You're not gonna pay me. It's a favor, right? Uh, usually get food, but yeah, <laughs> it's usually free. Yeah, see that's that's how it works. So just so you know, you're not getting paid for this CC at all. <laughs> well I had to fill out a form. <laughs> so legally I should be getting money. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we'll see. Alrighty guys, well hey, thanks for talking with me. Have a good time. Alright, thank All right. you. So Amy, you appear to be like seriously scared. I don't know why, but yes, I that actually got me. You know, and I came into this being like, nah, I went through, you know, Fear Factory. I'm cool. Like, <laughs> it's a little maze in Ogden. Like, it's not a dairy farm. And step on some cows. Yeah, or some cow droppings. You know what? It's like, it's like narrow and like Dark. when they get you, they get you. There's no place to go. Like when they jump out at you, you have nowhere to go. You're stuck. There's something completely mystical and very just it has that vibe and it's kind of cool tonight yeah because you're outside yeah that's i think that's what it is you're not going inside and then outside and yeah it's your senses aren't being overloaded where and i think that's when the scariest things happen i mean yeah, read sometimes Hitchcock it, gets, and it gets tough when, when you're barraged constantly you almost become numb to it when it's constant constant yeah. constant yeah. but that I mean, there was a lot of good scares. It was fun. Kind of embarrassed. So if you get a chance, come to Gibson. You know what? Don't get it. Don't, 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 don't have a chance. Come down Gibson's Corn Maze. They got the maze. They got the they got the non-scary maze. Maybe you know better. Please agree with me. They're like the nicest family. Yeah, they are. These in people the are whole these world. people are wonderful. So come out, say hi, try the slide and the corn maze. Run around in their backyard and get the poop scared out of you. Yeah, right.